Most people have clothes with pockets, but it's what you put in them that makes them so useful. Like right now, my old pants has a Dorito, a paper towel to clean my fingers off, and scissors so I can cut the paper towel into little pieces to clean my fingers. Oh, I, oh, you could just tear it? Well, I don't need these anymore. Anyways, I'm gonna go over the worst to best thing to put in your pockets for best optimization. Starting with F tier, the worst thing that you could have in your pocket are keys. Now you're thinking, well, keys are good. I, I can drive around and get into my house. Well, the other thing about these things is that it cuts up your leg. These literal razor sharp edges, they will make you cut yourself. The other thing is, if you're driving around, you're driving around without a license. You're literally illegally driving. So, worst thing to have in your pocket, don't do this, never recommend it. Toss your keys in the garbage. Moving up from items that cut your legs in your pocket, we got wallet, phone, and keys. Now you're thinking, well, this is what I usually carry on an every single day basis. What's wrong with this? Well, first of all, your wallet will make you spend money and we're trying to avoid that at all costs. Your phone is a huge distraction and you won't be able to talk to your friends because you'll be looking at Facebook, MySpace, whatever, throw it in the garbage. And the keys again will cut your legs up and people will make fun of you for having bloody pants. Moving on to slightly better things to carry in your pocket. We got a GameCube controller, some Skittles or your favorite snack, um, a picture that someone drew of you, hopefully a friend, and your phone. So the GameCube controller is so you can challenge anyone in Smash wherever. Um, Skittles because you're always hungry and you need to eat. And uh, a picture of you to realize that you're still alive and someone hopefully cares about you. And a phone this time to uh, call up all of your uh, friends to challenge them to Smash. So there you go, C tier. What you can also do is uh, take out all these items and just have a picture of yourself and uh, appreciate the small things. Now on to having better things in your pocket tier. We have a knife, a wooden spoon, a picture of you and your best friend, and cake mix. Now, you use all these together to make a cooking show along with this camera. And you just hope that your friend's not busy doing other things. I really hope not. I really hope not. Another cool thing you can have in this category, hold on, this takes me a while to get out of my pockets, but if you have five of the seven Dragon Balls, you can almost summon Shenron and make a wish. But uh, we only have five, so we still have to look around the world for two more, so I guess this is a little disappointing, and I'm sorry, guys. This, this is actually, this is bad. I'm sorry, I didn't, yeah. That's like an F tier. Where's, here we go. That was like an F tier. Well, that's D. Moving on to the best things that you can have in your pocket tier, we got a picture of your heart, your phone already opened up to a uh, porn hub, um, a picture of you and your ex, um, your favorite chocolate, a bottle of uh, depression, and uh, a list of all of your insecurities. Not being good at Smash Brothers. Not being as buff as Rambo. Your cooking skills is of a 10 year old. And um, not being able to make the people I love happy. And the best thing you can have in your pocket is absolutely nothing. It's the comfiest and nothing can bring you down. Mm -hmm.